give me top three on-page and off-page ranking factors? Well, obviously links. Um, quality of inbound links would be one. Um, on-page, people don't really think about this much and it's so obvious. Your keywords have to be in your title tag. You see so many sites and the bigger the site, the more e commerce it is. Um, probably not so much a problem in the gambling industry, but it can still slip by. People don't put the main keywords they want to rank for in a title tag. On page ranking factors, well, you would want to have your keywords or whatever you're targeting in your title tag of your page. Your page should be fairly clean in the sense of uh, that you won't, don't want to clutter it uh, with stuff which search engine spiders aren't able to read or index. Uh, you can do a lot of that by CSS so that humans may see, let's say, all the graphic stuff at the, at the top where you actually want it to. But, well, the source code will actually feature the text at the on the top. It's just that it's presented in another way or displayed in another way. Um, that's one thing. And then you do have to be absolutely sure that your page is not orphan. It has to have some navigation link or whatever pointing to it from your site. I'm not talking about off-site. Uh, because otherwise uh, the search engine will, will see them as uh, absolutely unimportant and probably not even index them. Um, I would say overall domain trust and authority. Um, you can have a lot of links pointing somewhere, but if those links aren't passing along a good amount of trust to the domain, um, it can still not rank as well as sites that have really good trust attached to them. For example, you could be a small affiliate site that had a lot of really good links pointing to it, but you might still be trumped by um, some merchant sites like big vendors and um, guys who have gotten, they've got really old domains and they're getting links from all over the web for 10, 15, 20 years. Unfortunately, that's the one that's really hard to um, manipulate. I guess it, it's hard to, I don't want to say fake that, but building that authority is something that does take time and that's not really anything that you sh can shortcut. As for off-site factors, well, links are an obvious uh, thing. There again, I would say, make sure that it looks organic, even if it isn't. Um, it's uh, like my favorite uh, quote by Groucho Marx, life is all about honesty and fair dealing. If you can fake that, you've got it made. And basically, it's the same thing. Everything you do off-site should look as organic or natural as possible, even if it isn't. If you want to know what is natural, what is organic, uh, analyze what your industry is like, what your competitors' links are like, go for link analysis and stuff like that. But there's also other off-site stuff uh, you, you shouldn't really uh, you know, ignore, like, uh, let's say, personal marketing or uh, email marketing, if, that, if your niche allows for that, or even you know, running around in your local stores and putting up a, uh, you know, some, some leaflet with your, with your website uh, URL on it. Uh, so uh, that depends again on, your, on, on the industry you're in. That may not be very scalable, but uh, it will certainly help in very many niches. So what are some of the funniest search terms you've ever used and do you ever expect that they would convert for you? <laughs> some, some stuff is so in, incredulous. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite, quite... Uh, well, I, I do remember when we... <clears throat> we had, uh, this was still a threat watch, we were still live. We had this discussion going on about um, uh, fluffy pink cuffs, you know, for for male porn or stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. and, and we actually managed to rank that rank that page within something like three hours or something, number one in Google. Fluffy pink handcuffs, that that was the thing. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, it was just you know, for as I say, for shits and giggles. Huh. Well, if you. If you look through your, your log files for things that people search for, I mean, it is really, really disturbing. <laughs> there have actually been times in, on very small sites. In fact, one of them was on uh, my dad's blog that I changed something. It was a tagline, and I changed it into an image as opposed to um, a sentence because there was one word in it that people were um, it, making really filthy set traces <laughs> on it. And we were getting, he was getting so much traffic for just terrible stuff. And so, oh, I, can't, I can't bear that, and I can't bear to repeat it either. Well, on my blog... Um, I have a, a piece that I wrote about um, a conference in Sydney that took place last year and I called the conference South by South East because that's exactly how you flew from London to get to Sydney instead of South by South West, which is a big um, festival in Austin every year. Um, so I call it S-X-S-E. Well, it turns out a lot of people think that's how you spell sexy. <laughs> So I get a lot of really disturbing traffic for S-X-S-E videos, girls, like just 
it gets worse than that. But that would probably be the current most disturbing thing that I see. No, so it's not it's not too bad, but it's still like that. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Regardless of the strategy you choose, one thing is clear. It is possible to implement a successful SEO strategy with a lot of hard work, a bit of luck, and consistent execution. This has been Viewpoint. This is Rebecca Legero. You're watching Calvinair.com.